السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أما بعد Respected brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and may he help us to reach Ramadan. May he help us to reach Ramadan and experience its honor and its blessings, all of it. And may he bless us with the blessings of Ramadan and may he have mercy on us and our families and may he help them also to reach Ramadan and to benefit from it in the fullest way. And may he help all the Muslims to benefit from Ramadan and may Allah forgive us our many sins. Ameen. Brothers and sisters, come let us learn this Qunut al-Witr. This is the dua that is made whilst one is in the last rakat of his Witr Salat, inshallah, and it is made at that time, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, this year might be different. Very different from all the other years that we have experienced, ever experienced before. Since many of us do not know the dua al-Qunut. We do not know it. And we would not have an Imam to recite it for us in Witr because we might have to pray Witr by ourselves. So if this is our predicament, this is our technicality, if this is our problem, brothers and sisters, let us learn this authentically established so that inshallah when we go and stand for this prayer, we would be able to read this dua inshallah that is authentically established from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we would know when we read this dua, this is a dua that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa made for Qunut. And inshallah if he made it, it has to be the best. So this is the dua that is read in Witr Salat and it can be made before bowing for Ruku' or after bowing. After one comes out of Ruku' one can make this dua inshallah. It is called Dua al Qunut and it is read like this. Read with me. Allahumma dini fi man hadayt wa aafini fi man aafayt wa tawallani fi man tawallayt وبارك لي فيما أعطيت وقني شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك إنه لا يذل من واليت ولا يعز من عديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت Let us do it separately each line by line because some of us might not know it properly or even some of us who might know it might be making some wrong pronunciations somewhere along the line. Let us start. For those of you who don't know to read Arabic, I put in a transliteration of the dua each line inshallah. So you can follow there inshallah. Allahumma dini fi man hadayt Allahumma dini fi man hadayt Allahumma Dini Allahumma Dini fi man hadayt Allahumma Dini fi man hadayt Let us read it together all the time Allahumma Dini fi man hadayt 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 وَأَعْفِنِي فِي مَنْ عَافَيْتْ وَأَعْفِنِي فِي مَنْ عَافَيْتْ وَأَعْفِنِي فِي مَنْ عَافَيْتْ وَأَعْفِنِي فِي مَنْ عَافَيْتْ وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتْ وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتْ وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتْ وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتْ Pay attention to the, the shadow on the lamb. وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتْ وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتْ وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتْ Pay attention to the ayn. وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتْ وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتْ the Hamza and the Ayn are very difficult when they come together. وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتْ وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتْ 
وبارك لي في ما أعطيت 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 نوتس دي عين أن الطاء أعطيت أعطيت وبارك لي في ما أعطيت وقيني شر ما قضيت نوتس دي قاف أن الضاد so you have to make both of them elevated قا ضا right وقيني شر ما قضيت 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 فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك فإنك تقضي ضاد ولا يقضى ضاد عليك فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى 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 عليك pay attention to the عين الضاد فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك إنه لا يذل إنه لا يذل من واليت 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 ولا يعز من عاديت ولا يعز من عاديت ولا يعز لا يعز عين يعز من عاديت ولا يعز من عاديت ولا يعز من عاديت ولا يعز من عاديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت 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 that is the end of the dua inshallah um, I'm going to read the meaning in a short while inshallah but what I want you to do is to spend time learning it brothers and sisters your home most of you and you have a time so if you don't know it you can learn it because this the meaning of this dua is amazing this as i said is authentically established and this is one of the this is one of the authentic dua if not the most authentic dua for the witr salat so you want to make sure that you do it. But what we're going to do we're going to read it back together all together the entire dua together allahu mahdini fi man hadayt وعافني في من عافيت وتولني في من توليت وبارك لي في ما أعطيت وقني شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك 
إِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَنْ وَالَيْتْ وَلَا يَعِزُّ مَنْ عَادَيْتْ تَبَارَكْتَ رَبَّنَا وَتَعَالَيْتْ One more time. اللَّهُ مَهْدِنِي فِي مَنْ هَدَيْتْ وَعَافِنِي فِي مَنْ عَافَيْتْ وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتْ وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتْ وَقِنِي شَرَّ مَا قَضَيْتْ فَإِنَّكَ تَقْضِي وَلَا يُقْضَى عَلَيْكَ إِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَنْ وَالَيْتْ وَلَا يَعِزُّ مَنْ عَادَيْتْ تَبَارَكْتَ رَبَّنَا وَتَعَالَيْتْ Okay, so let us get the meaning of this beautiful dua, mashallah. And it contains so much important things that we need. So, inshallah, you know, alhamdulillah, we have this beautiful dua. And we can make it at that important time in the night when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is answering all dua. Is there anyone who is asking so that I can give to him? So see what you are asking at that time so that you can get. Allahumma hadini fi man hadayt. Oh Allah, guide me along with those whom you have guided. So you're asking for guidance. And you want guidance. And guidance is the most important thing. Because if you're guided in this world and you die upon guidance, you go to Jannah. Pardon me along with those whom you have pardoned. Allah Akbar. You want pardon. You want forgiveness. Right? Be an ally to me along with those whom you are an ally to. So make me your ally. Defend me, protect me, right? And you want all of this. وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتِ And bless for me that which you have bestowed upon me. Whatever you have given to me, bless it. Put blessings in it. And because when Allah put blessings in something, that's it. Alhamdulillah. It is, you know, it, it is beautiful. وَقِنِي شَرَّ مَا قَضَيْتِ Protect me from the evil you have decreed. فَإِنَّكَ تَقْضِي وَلَا يُقْضَى عَلَيْكَ For verily you decree and none can decree over you. None can decree over you. إِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَنْ وَالَيْتَ For surely he whom you show allegiance to is never abased. وَلَا يَعِزُّ مَنْ عَادَيْتَ And he whom you take as an enemy is never honored and mighty. He is never in a position of is, honor and might. تَبَارَكْتَ رَبَّنَا وَتَعَالَيْتَ O oh, our Lord, blessed and exalted are you. So, alhamdulillah, this beautiful dua contains all our important needs. So, let us beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a heart that is open, a heart that is really desirous of his blessings. And, uh, you know, and let us know what we are reading. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us in this entire month to really get the blessings of all of these things that we are asking here and all of the other blessings that are in Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give us the best in this world and hereafter and protect us and our families and our progeny or people who are going to come after us or progeny who are going to come after us. May Allah protect them, protect us, forgive all of us, cause us to die in Islam and may Allah protect our brothers and sisters who, have, who went before us and have already died upon Iman May Allah grant them Jannah and grant all of us Jannah and give us the best in this world hereafter and save us from hell. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik. Shalom la ilaha illa anta astaghfirullah wa tuwilaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.